and look at that thing, y'all. Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well boy, have I got us a special treat today. This rarely ever happens, but let me put the camera in the chest here and show you. I have got us a live skipjack right there that we're about to drop down and try to catch us a catfish with. I hooked him just a few minutes ago and have slow trolled him up here to where I'm gonna be catfishing. I'm gonna be catfishing Looks like I'm wide open water here, but I'm actually at the entrance of this creek channel, the old original creek mouth that was here before they flooded this to make the reservoir. So I'm gonna drop that skipjack down there, right off bottom here and right at 46 feet deep. And we're gonna see what we can't hook with him. I've got some other skipjack in my cooler that I've hooked up through here that we're gonna use as cut bait. And in addition to that, also got us a live crappie. My last catfish session, I absolutely tore up some flatheads. Caught eight, hooked and lost a couple more. So I was on this same spot. I said, you know, well, I'm gonna see if magic happens again this afternoon. So my plan is to sit here, fish till dark and just see what happens. And I, man, I'm pumped. That skipjack right there, he's probably one and a half, two pound range. That is a nice bait. And those things are so hard to keep alive in, in a kayak dang near impossible unless you're just fishing right there where you're catching them at very difficult to keep them alive they're just they're not a hardy fish but my gosh we got a sad one right there so hopefully something big comes along and eats him i'm gonna get some of his friends cut up we'll drop off the front of the kayak we'll supplement this crappie we'll put him on at some point too but man i'm pumped up y'all let's catch us some big cats today let's get our other baits on here now this is a fresh skipjack just caught him few minutes ago too we're gonna to drop him down there that's on a Carolina rig eight ounce egg sinker 10 ounce size hook with a catfish sumo bait stalk to fly under it drop it down raise it up once it's off bottom there you know it'll be 42 43 feet deep we'll put a chunk on the other rod for now I, I got this live crappie I, I stopped today on the way out here and got me some live minnows. I never use live minnows, but I wanted to try to hit a brush pile that I found that's had a bunch of fish on it that I ain't been able to hardly get to bite on artificials. I said, I'm gonna get me some minnows and see if I can get me a bunch of crappie off there. And well, I got one. <laughs> but he's a dang good one though. He's over 14 inches. So when we drop him down, we'll have us another big live bait, but I'm gonna go two pieces of cut bait for now, just to get some blood and some scent out there in the water. Hopefully draw some, some cats in, but we will put that crappie on at some point and we got that live skipjack out there just swimming around. Those things are very active swimmers. So hopefully he's gonna conjure us up some attention. That last catfish session, man, I mean, as soon as I could get a bait down, once the, I sat here a while, nothing going on, but when the flatheads moved in, there had to be a school of them, because I was just, as soon as I could get a bait down, they were on it. I had two fish that nailed a bait as soon as I dropped it down to the bottom, and so I know there's some flatheads working in and out of this creek periodically right now, and I hope they move through this afternoon, and if they do, we're ready for them, by gosh. Let's do it. Got action. Oh, here goes this one. Here goes my head. I was looking at the other rod. We're doubled. That one over there is going down too. This one, oh, this one come free. This one come free, but this one didn't. We got one out of the two. <laughs> I was looking at this rod because it looked like it, my line was swimming and all of a sudden the one on the left went down. This is my cut bait rods. My skipjack still swimming back there behind me. He's in the back rod holder. We about to get the skunk out here. On the chunk though. <laughs> that one on the left took me by surprise when I was watching this and Yeah, old blue kitty for fish number one. There's apparently two of them down there too, by gosh. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave him set in a second. Let's reel this one up right quick. Let's make sure our bait is still on there while he tires himself out. 
Hutton got hit hard. Yeah, it's still on there, still looks good. Just for whatever reason, just come unbuttoned. Let's get it back down there and we'll land our kitty. Okay, come on in kitty. Show yourself off to the world here. He said he'd love to. He's been waiting on this moment his whole life. Oh, 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 Lord. Get, get out of here. I tried being nice. I tried giving that fish front camera time. He didn't deserve it. He wasn't big enough for it. And he apparently wasn't mature enough to handle it. Acting that way. Well, let's give us another chunk on there, man. That was, uh, that one on the, on the head. That was a nice takedown. That was a bigger fish on that one, but I don't know why he didn't hook up. But anyway, let's give us another chunk and drop it back down. We're getting to that time of day now where my last session where all them flatheads moved through, so I'm hoping they're still on that same pattern. Here goes us another sliver of that skipjack down. We'll drop it down there, raise it up a couple feet, and we'll kick back and relax till the next fish swim through. They could be coming in and out of this creek here any given time. It's just a waiting game. See so y'all, I'm gonna mix things up just a little bit. I'm gonna take my chunk off this front rod and we're gonna put our live crappie on, that big 14 inch crappie I got. I just checked on him in the bucket there. He ain't looking too good. It's cramped quarters for a crappie that big in my bucket. So we're gonna put him on and see if he can swim around down through there before he kills off and get us a monster. All right guys, there is our 14 inch crappie. We're gonna break some old crappie fisherman's hearts using that big thing right there for a bait. But by gosh, if he's a big flathead or a big blue cat that swims through this creek mouth, they will gobble him up. We'll still have our skipjack head on this other rod over here just putting us out some, some blood and some scent. And we'll have them two live baits down there. I'd have, I'd have preferred to keep the same kind of setup going two cut baits and then the skipjack is our live bait but that crappie there i think the container just a uh, uh, he couldn't he couldn't fully extend there in that five gallon bucket container he's just too long for it so i think he was just having a hard time so we'll give him a lot more room to breathe and, and swim around down there on bottom maybe he'll conjure us up something oh look right here look right here something's got our skipjack something's got him oh boy oh and he let him go Oh man, something had him. Something had him. Oh, look right here. Something's got my head bait now. Whatever had the skipjack, I guess he let him go. Oh man. Actually, I think he's got him again. Something wants that dang skipjack, man. That's a big base though. I mean, he's he's somewhere a pound and a half, two pounds. They're gonna have a mouthful to get him, but I think something, just let him go. I wonder if that ain't a flathead down there trying to eat him. I don't think the skipjack is gonna take the rod over that far, especially after he's been down there struggling. I'm probably two hours now that I've been set up. That's definitely not the skipjack. But whatever's trying to eat him can't. Man. Yeah, that skipjack. That's my signature series catfish rod from Catfish Sumo. That skipjack ain't taking the rod over that far, especially two hours into it that he's been down there on that hook something was definitely after him and something hit that front rod up there too while it was going on i kind of want to reel the skipjack up just make sure he ain't foul hooked or something but i hate to bring him up right now while we still got that fish possibly still down there well i reeled our skipjack up to check him look at his belly right there something had him man they had him they had him tail first instead of head first where the hook was at, but his gills just barely moving there. He's he's about had it. I'm gonna send him back down though as is. That's was definitely a fish though that had him. Oh, oh, our crappie up here got hit. Or lurched one. 
Let me get this one reset right quick. Oh, something's, something's, got, let me just set this back. Let me set that back. Something's got our crappie, our 14 inch crappie. Maybe the same fish that's been after the skipjack. Oh man. <laughs> I was so disappointed I reeled that skipjack up. I, I wanted to check him. I thought he might be foul hooked. And I saw the mark on his tail. I was like, dang. And they about killed him. I had such high hopes for that bait, but now here goes the crappie. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, baits could go down at any given time, but I got a big live bait on. It's, it takes a, takes a pretty good fish to eat one of them. Here comes all these big bubbles up here. I mean, that is a 14 inch crappie. That's a bigger than your hand size bait. And that is a big blue cat that has eaten him. Yep, big blue cat. Big old blue cat right there ate that crappie, man. <laughs> all right. Oh no, he didn't either. He didn't. The crappie's gone off the hook. He's ate the fly. Look right here. He's got that fly in the mouth, man. Oh, man. He's knocked the crappie off the hook. He ain't done yet either. This thing right here is full of pee pee and vinegar. Man. I thought for sure he had ate the. The crappie, he's certainly big enough to do it. But no, he got the dang fly. Oh, he ain't done either. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I wish he hadn't knocked that crappie off. We got to get our skipjack. I dropped him down there. We got to get him reset. Oh, man. <laughs> Something's after that one. Oh, that one's going down. Our head bait's going down. Let's set this one back in the rod holder. Oh boy, nice takedown. We got fish working through. We got fish working through right now. Oh man. Yeah, y'all, like I was saying, any given time, fish could be working in and out of these creeks. You just gotta put the time into them. You gotta be on the water when they get active. And it was around mid, mid to late afternoon on my last session when all them flatheads came through. And we're a little past that time now. I was thinking maybe it just wasn't gonna work out today. But sure enough, here they are. I don't know if we'll get any flatheads, but we at least got that one big blue over there and then whatever this is, feels pretty good. He feels like a solid fish. I can't believe that dang blue ate the fly instead of the crappie. <laughs> and he ate it too. I mean, it's in his mouth. Let's see what this one is. I'm seeing these are smaller bubbles coming up here. But he feels like a dang good fish. Nice takedown. Come on, fish. Show yourself. I want to get a look at you. Are you a blue or a flathead? I think it's a blue. Yeah, it's a blue. It's another dang good one, too. <laughs> oh, man. Doubled up here. Doubled up with two big blues. One on a fly. And this one, assuming he's got the, the hook in his mouth, ate the skipjack head. I can't get him calmed down enough to see which hook he's got and where. Yeah, that one's got the hook in the mouth there. So that one ate the head. Okay. Let's set him back just a second. I want to get this skipjack over here. I was letting him sink down. Let me just get him reset and raised up a couple feet off bottom there. He's about dead, but we at least got like a whole, basically a whole dead bait down there at this point. Now let's get this first one. Come here, kitty. Open up my mouth now. Open up now, open up. <laughs> Lord, get him on in here now. <laughs> That's what he ate, folks. I'll tell you, them flies have got me so many extra fish. 
And boy, they just got us a big one right here. Oh man. Why couldn't you have left that dang crappie on there, Blue Cat? That's the only one I caught. Okay, let's hold this one up here. Oh man. Dang nice Blue Cat. Who knows, we, we just had some fish work through. I don't know what had a hold of that skipjack. Something had a hold of him. We'll never know, but this is a nice consolation prize. This one and his friend, very nice parting gifts as Pat Sajak would say on the Wheel of Fortune. It's, he feels like he's wanting to flop on me here. I feel, his, I feel his tail here. He's wanting to, you need to calm down a second fish. I ain't done with you yet. I'm gonna have to get this one out of here, y'all. He wants to go. Young. I'm trying to make you famous on this camera. He don't care. <laughs> Ungrateful fish. Come over here. Let's get this. Maybe this will be a little bit more cooperative. He's about the same size as that other one. Maybe, maybe a touch smaller. Man, that's awesome, y'all. I mean, I've been sitting here a good while. Nothing happening, but it's just, you know, it's just them situations. It's just. You gotta be patient. You gotta let these fish come to you when you set up like I'm doing today. And they've come in. They've come in here, by gosh. Okay, let's hold that one up there. Nice kitty, man. Nice kitty. Another solid fish. I promise you, they just working in here as a school right now. We probably, who knows how many more was with them, you know? We just didn't have any base down there. For a second but these two were plenty they had they had my hands full all right well i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut another skipjack we're you know out of live baits now but we'll go with the the cut skipjack i caught them their skips are fresh i caught them on the way up through here today so they're good and fresh and we'll put a head and a chunk down there and leave our whole one on back over here and maybe something huge will come along and eat it you ready to go home kitty he said he wasn't trying to leave home today anyway. Get on out of here. Hey, gone. Man, that's awesome, y'all. Both them fish fist pump worthy. This is a big bait right here, man. This is a huge skipjack. We're gonna take a head and a chunk off of it. These fish, man, that's awesome. I'm still pumped up over them last two fish, man. I like catching big cats like that but getting them two at a time that's about the most fun you can have in a kayak i'm gonna cut these fins off here all right we'll get them on there and drop them down and man i hope them fish are either still here or we get some more kind of working through i'm gonna fish till dark which is probably got about an hour hour or so of daylight left so hopefully we get some more working through here in the meantime oh look here at my front rod i've got weight on it didn't feel him bite just wait oh boy we got him i think that's a flathead i think that's a flathead that's come through just sneaking up on me he feels good too on the chunk that's a flathead man he ain't even really took off yet this is a good one. This is a real good one right here. He ain't even fighting yet. Boy, when he takes off, <laughs> I think he's just he's just playing right now. You know how they'll sit there, just kind of wait on your rod tip? That's exactly what that was doing. Oh, okay, now he knows he's hooked. Now he knows he's hooked. I promise you this is a flathead. Somebody, somebody get out you change purse bet me a nickel right now man oh man that's that's awesome never felt him just glanced up i was like whoa that don't look right i'm excited to get this one up here i know he's a flathead but i'm curious to see how big he is like to have some more live baits i stopped and bought them and i hate buying minnows but i stopped and bought some today because i thought i'll 
I'll get on that brush that I've been catching them other crappie on and drop some live minnows down there and just tear them up and one dang crappie. <laughs> just wasn't meant to be. But we're making the most of the cut bait here. I think it's going to pull up a big flat here. We should be getting close here. Well, I say that, and there he goes again. I'm seeing a few bubbles here. We gotta be, we gotta be getting close. Come over here, Fred. Don't spin us into the light. You'll blind me and the audience both. Oh, it is. That's a big flathead. Big flathead, buddy. I knew he was big, and that is a good one. Oh man, come over here, buddy. Let's get a better look at you here. Oh man, look at that thing, y'all. Oh, he ain't done now. He's wanting to take back off. Let me get the camera back in the chest here. I'm gonna play him out a minute. I'm gonna play him out a minute and we're gonna land him. Okay, flat. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This one's got something in his mouth. What is this in here? He's got something. I did this here recently on a trip. I pulled a big catfish out of a blue cat's mouth i'm gonna see if i can get hold of this thing oh i actually think i can't it it broke off i think that's a blue cat's tail <laughs> i think it is the rest of it's down in there i can't get it out too far gone but i think that's a blue cat's tail <laughs> nice man this flathead is on the feed buddy Oh boy. Oh, look at that, man. <laughs> Is that awesome or what? Oh man, what an awesome flathead. Oh man, he's heavy. And he's got a belly full of something I assume is a blue cat. And still was hungry for more. Wanted, wanted that piece of skipjack. <laughs> Let's get another look at him there. Man. I don't know if we can see. I'm going to set him down a second. I don't know if we can see the colors or not with the way I'm positioned against the sun. That is a beautiful flathead. Look at the belly on that thing, man. That right there is a tank, buddy. Y'all, I got my hand on his belly. I can feel that fish in there. I can feel where he's at. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's let this big beast go. We're gonna drop another chunk down. And I probably got another 30 minutes of daylight left here. We're gonna see if we can't hook another in the meantime. Let's get the release shot on that big fella. He wasn't sticking around Italians by, was he? Oh man, another fist pump worthy. This time on a huge flathead, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Man, that makes me so excited. Let me get the camera back in the chest. We're going to put another bait on. Oh, buddy, I tell you what, buddy. That just makes my day. Well, folks, that sun is going down over there. Beautiful sunset to cap off. Just an awesome trip out here. Two big blues and that huge flathead. What a day, man. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's just... Anytime I go home having caught a big flathead, I tell you, I have had a good day. But I'm going to fish until right up till dark this evening. Hopefully I get some more, but we'll go ahead and call this the close in the video just in case I ain't got enough light to film whatever else I get, assuming I do. But man, I enjoyed it, y'all. Hope you did too. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.